Hey everybody, it's XS Master X. Welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario and this has new door. In the last episode, uh, we got here. And now we're gonna go inside this door and stuff. What happened? And it'll be all fun games and stuff. Who does approach me? Actually, I shouldn't be making that voice because it's rare to reveal that. Well, not gonna spoil it, but. I'll see a normal voice, whatever. Hmm, so, you are friends of the strange garb one who came earlier. I didn't expect more to come steal a treasure I protect. Such rashness. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? But you're so small, and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the bottoms of your feet smell like they might make a good sauce with some spices. <laughs> uh, what I'll do is, uh, is sot. Sot. I've never seen that word before. You the crispy goodness and gobble you down head first. Yeah, it's pretty sinister. So anyway, after this let's play has been going on for over a year, we are now on the first boss. Yeah. Snack time, little appetizers, blah blah blah, little more fills. So yeah, here's the secret behind getting this guy. You attack him. With the cricket badge on. You know, the sound effect badge I found earlier. And he'll go like, Bleh! That awful sound. It sounds like a cricket. How did you know? Stop this, and stop that this instant. Erp, I get really bad food poisoning once when I ate a cricket. I hate them. I hate these. Fight it, Hookie. Just hearing a cricket chirp makes you feel woozy. Oh, and yeah, that happens. So yeah, that will weaken his attack power because normally his attack power is like five and that's way too much for this point in the game. Attack is five and this is one. They'll stomp a munch on you and have a much it has a more dragonish attack. Stinky fiery breath. It's tricky, especially when it's losing. It'll try to fool you into being merciful. Oh yeah, and one more thing. It hates things that start with CR and end with Icket. Supposedly they oh, shut up. And and there's its dragon breath. As you see, just one attack with the cricket badge has increased its powers of three. Ooh, must not gag my poor tummy. Oh, so very woozy. And okay, thank you. What well, it missed? Oh. All right, yeah. Now he's gonna stomp on us. Uh, I should probably stop trying to super guard it because it's not gonna work. Ow, that hurt. Uh, all right, let's attack him again. Uh, thank him again. Trust me, this boss may seem easy, right? Like, oh yeah, it'll only take like five minutes. Now his attack power is down to one. So you can see, this is a very good idea to get that bad. Yeah, this boss, uh, you, you may think, oh, this is gonna take like a few minutes because it only has 20 HP. You'll see. You'll see soon enough, alright. I think it also like lost its one defense point once you attack it with the cricket badge. I don't know why I'm calling it the cricket badge. It's not really ow cricket badge at all. It's a set badge that makes a cricket noise, so I guess it technically is. Yeah. But wait, hold on a moment. I give up, please. I won't be so bad anymore. I promise. In fact, I'm sorry for everything. Er, yeah. To prove it, I'll give you 1,000 coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? Keep your coins, fiend! What? You must be joking. You don't need any coins. Then how about the lovely rare shaped extra special badge I have? I'll give you that. It's one of a kind. It's yours for a limited time only. Will you take it? If you say yes to any of these questions, he will do something really bad. Well, I suppose I could have policy, though I... <laughs> What the heck? Being completely honest right now, really. So, care to take a look at the 
<laughs> That's disgusting. I do it for nothing. Okay, you are a very trusting fellow, aren't you? It's important to be able to trust someone. You, yeah, not a giant freaking dragon. Her, I guess I'd better. Okay, okay, that's the end of the boss, he's dead. Holy crap! That is the most gruesome thing I've ever seen in a Mario game! He's eating people! That's terrible! Oh ho ha ha! Ah, now my strength has returned to me! That's it, enough of this, let's finish him off once and tomorrow, Mario! So now we jump into the audience stand, and we make him throw up the people he's eating by making him listen to the sound of crickets. Or, I think so, anyway. Okay, there we go. I think you have to hit him on his head for this, so I guess I'll start doing that. And Goombella's in danger, but the fight is almost won, so I'm not gonna bother doing anything about it. So now we have saved all the four toads, and... Aww. Alright. Ah, okay. He still has a power of one, so that's good. And now let's finish him. Fatality. But, but I, I, Gurk. How? Why? There's so much I want to do with my life. So many meals. And he gives you a pug loaf of star points. And then magic things happen. Yes, we did it, Mario. Oh, we have to do now search that crystal star. We can't seem to locate. Ooh. Ooh. Plot twist. It's Bowser. No, it's not. Yeah! I'm out. I'm finally out. Whoa! It it can't be. Eh? Huh? Now suddenly Koops is up too. D Dad? Hey, you're you're Koops. Oh my God! I don't remember who you're. Oh yeah, that's right. You're I'm your you're my son. Hey son, you've gotten so big since I saw you last. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah. I guess I have. But who cares, Dad? <laughs> I mean, golly, what happened to you? What have you been doing all this time? Well, I came here a while back to the OS Hooktail, and all was well and good. But th just before my finishing blow, he played a trick on me, and he gobbled me down whole. I've been hiding in my... Sh <laughs> what the heck? Ugh, yeah, I bet. So, he's been alive. The only thing I can think of is that he's been living off of the things that Hooktail's been eating, and that is really gross. <laughs> oh god, what is up with this game? <laughs> is it good, right? We're together now, right? Speaking of which, what are you doing here anyway? Oh, come on, Dad. I came here to defeat Hooktail, who's been working havoc in town. And Mr. Mario here is looking for the gem, for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? That would be, uh, this would be what you're talking about, it would it? Oh my god, what's that? I found it, down there in Hooktail's belly. Hooktail ate the Crystal Star? Looking for? Perfect, just perfect, you can have it. Me? Come on, come now, I won't take it for an answer, you're Koopa's friend, please take it. You got a crystal star. You let us win forever. Yeah, I'm kind of ripping off like a kind of there, but who cares? That look failed like years ago. End of chapter. Mario and his friends finally got a crystal star in the castle after the beating hook tank. Hook tank. What the heck is hook tail? Koops even reunited with his long lost father, whom he was thought that whom he thought was dead. And then yet they are unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of a princess. The princess is now a permanent guest of one of my seven Hoop Koopa hotels. I know. 
That was fun. So yeah, now we will save the game so that we do not lose everything in the world and dies forever. Interlude! Oh my god, it's Princess Peach. Oh great, exalted Grotus. We brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. Alright guys, I have a pro tip for all you upcoming Let's Players out here. Before you record a video, check how much space you have left on your camera. Whoa, that's a mind-blowing process. Well, well, well. My pet isn't it about time you told me us where the map is. Here is the map. Where do you wish to go? You will speak when spoken to. I tell you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. This guy reminds me of Mayor Prentice. We ex knots are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Da da da. Grotus, sir, I have news. Report at once. You know the crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And he defeated the Hooktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's no. There's more too. See, according to the report, it was a mustache dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario. Excuse me, Mario. Oh no! Gah, 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 gah. I see. So you know of this Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him before long, that I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir! And men, take good care of Princess Peach. Understand? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. Okay, so he threatens her, and then he's like... Don't hurt her at all, or else I'll kill your face. Yeah. And it's hardly likely he'll find the crystal star we're hunting in the Bogley Woods. You must return there immediately and hasten the excavation. It must not fail. Was that? Oh, yeah, sure, Roger. Grotus. And with that, pow, I'm gone. I like doing voices for all the characters. I wonder if sending a crump there alone is wise. He is a bit... Out there. Hmm. X not. I summon you. You rang, dude? I mean, sir? You rang, Sir Grotus, dude? Sir Grotus, Sir Grotus, sir? Shut up. Go get the Shadow Sirens over here. <laughs> the sh sh Shadow Sirens, sir! Birthday. I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Now get them. Now. Gotcha. The Honorable Brodus has need of us, and we arrive without delay. Weehee! <laughs> Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? Still your tongue, Voldem. We would have already have it if you'd, if you'd snatched her earlier. But now, since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has the map. It wasn't my fault, truly. There are too many prying eyes there. Too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth, and we had to retreat. Why worry? All we need to do now is find this Mario and steal the map, yeah? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you? That map is vital to the x not plan. I will have my men prepare a- oops. For now, hear me, Beldam. 
You shadow sirens must make take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, sire. I bell them shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn. Vivian, come. We've got a job to do. I actually have a theory about why the TV goes in and out like that. And hey, it's on the moon! Spoilers! Oh dear, here we go again! I can't believe I'm kidnapped again! Mario and Toastboard must be worried sick again! But hang on a moment! We're in the wrong airport anyway! It's so unfamiliar! I wish I could at least let Mario and Toastboard feel the type of Kai. So yeah, now we have a peach level. I'm not kidding. And here is a Easter egg. You're gonna watch her take a shower. All you have to do is enter this room and then leave. And you can progress with the story. But I'm going to take a shower. Uh. What a lovely shower. No scuff stuff even. Wow, I wonder if it works. No, it doesn't work. I just put it there to taunt you. goes on forever. And your paper. Why do you take a shower? And you notice now she has a different hairstyle. How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. So yeah, now that we're done with that, and luckily we don't have to watch her use the bathroom too. And why did she notice it before it opened? What the heck? And now, she's walking through this hallway. Here, it doesn't look like anyone's around. So, just kind of keep on walking and hope that things go well. It doesn't work. I swear, I love doing these voices. It's going to be fun. Oh, how do I keep on making these doors open? How odd. Yes, plot twist. She's actually a magical princess and she's going to blow up the full base in two seconds. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the TEC XX. Many call, may, many call me tech. You may. Sir Gordon has created me to be a perfect computer, one that is as flawless in his reason. Me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I thought I'll change your mind. So I'm wondering, why did you leave me in here? I am unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circulatory malfunction and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. The events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs, and their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such compulsion has no precedence, because cause unknown, I, the perfect computer, I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. This is why I lead you here. Did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Could it be that you... No! Impossible! You can't be! You're a computer! What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really because... This is too weird. Please tell me. Please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I don't understand, please. Well, you know, maybe. Is it possible that while well, you're in love with me? Love? What is love? I cannot compute. Love does not compute. <laughs> 
Wait, you're a little lovish? Well, how do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy. Just see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you will do anything to help them when she is, he or she is in trouble. Happiness, fun. I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend love? Love's not something you comprehend, Zach. You feel it. Da 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 da. Princess Beach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer! Why do you care about love? I am perfect. There must not be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love, please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What are you saying? You experts kidnapped me in the common troopers! And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you about the meaning of love? I just put it on your screen! You'll grant my wishes! Ha! Why should I believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now, but I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now tell me your wish. Are you sure? Oh, okay, here it goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may use my communicator to send wireless mail to anyone you want. If so, you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. You mean this keyboard? Alright, let me give this a shot. Okay, it's ready, Ted. Could you send it? The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something.